I want to say it's fantastic to see someone moving so quickly and putting so many things that are so productive, like what we heard this morning uh, uh, on the table. Uh, and there's a list of things that are very helpful. I think the question of spectrum and NGN and access will be very big. I think the question of public R&D will be important. Um, uh, but let me identify a couple of things that raised an eyebrow and are concerned, and I think people in this forum would be worthwhile thinking about. Um, the first one is that uh, in the first uh, uh, key action, opening up access to content, uh, this is subject to a commitment to preserve the contractual freedom of rights holders. Uh, I think this is uh, a problem. Uh, I think one of the problems of cross-border uh, 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 cultural markets uh, in Europe has everything to do with collective rights association and the segmentation of markets. And I think it's important to put as part of the agenda exploration of alternative non-exclusion based models, be they of the model that you get ISP based charges and distribution systems, be they on standardized terms, be they on modified terms that require uh, uh, liability as opposed to proprietary exclusion, that needs to be um, uh, experimented with. Um, we heard this morning about standards, but I think it's important to anchor uh, what the remedy is for failure to disclose. Uh, and I suspect that short of either forfeiture or more likely estoppel for use for interoperability and standards, I'd say if you didn't disclose, you can't sue as long as somebody is using for interoperability. It strikes me as a really important discrete thing that changes the dynamic. And raising the question of, of what levels of commercial use trigger a requirement to pay so that you at least get uh, non-commercial or commercial but highly uncertain uh, use until it actually can generate revenue being done without uh, having to pay. There are concerns with cybersecurity. I just want to emphasize that trusted systems and concerns with uh, cybersecurity also raise barriers uh, uh, and, and are pushing in the direction of closed systems. And it's important to maintain an anchor in open systems and open system solutions to cybersecurity threats. And finally, there's an emphasis on open access publication, which is good, but it's still not entirely clear to me why Europe maintains a, a database protection regime for which there is now 20 years of evidence that the US is doing better without any such regime. It's five years since the EU's own study said there was no evidence uh, that uh, proprietary rights in databases are any good, and it's nowhere to be seen. Uh, and access to data is one of the, uh, is one of the core resources uh, necessary. And so I, I would uh, have loved to see that here uh, as well. Um, thank you. Thank you very much, Ashai. You covered an awful lot of ground.